fantasies no more I wish you well dear I know things haunt you and you will grow to realize there's no time left and if you want this to succeed I think you get off everything cause I know there's only one Hello, I'm Walter Collins, and welcome to Common Ground. Every day we still hear um, desperate stories of people who are living below the poverty line, people who are homeless, and people who are going without food, shelter, and warmth, not only in Ballarat, but around Australia. This documentary is designed to explore some of the avenues of why people become homeless and what we can do about it. Sure, there are many different options for feeding people when they're hungry, and giving them a warm blanket, but what is the long-term vision to help stop this cycle of homelessness? Well, as always, I'm joined by Craig Skeps, and Craig is a man who has really helped change the way, certainly that Ballarat in Victoria is um, tackling homelessness, and Craig, five years in the making, this is your fifth year of doing this, You've achieved an incredible amount in that short space of time. So let's take it right back to the beginning. How did this all begin? Well, it uh, began with, you know, a chance meeting of a gentleman that uh, was sleeping rough on our streets in Ballarat. And uh, from there, we were really keen to create that, that message of awareness, and we uh, achieved that. Uh, we managed then to push forward and, and look at the the avenues of uh, what could be done if we supported our young people, our future, uh, in the way of mentoring. And along the journey, we've managed to get to a stage where we've, we've now created from awareness, community involvement with, with the soup bus uh, out on the streets after dark, supporting uh, Ballarat's less fortunate. Because that's a big thing, isn't it? Is actually getting the community to, of course everyone knows that people are homeless, you know, in Ballarat, but actually getting them to do something about it is a really hard thing to do. Um, the soup bus, which you mentioned, is incredible. How many volunteers do you have on that bus? We have 300 volunteers now active on the soup bus, and we have uh, at least 100 that are waiting to go through the volunteer training process. How many mouths has the bus fed so far? Because I think it's quite an astonishing number, isn't it? Yeah, look, we've just gone over 8,500 people that we fed and clothed uh, in just over 12 months. Someone said to me, Ballarat, there are homeless people. I kind of don't associate that with Ballarat. Why do you think that is? Look, there are a number of reasons as to why we have such an issue uh, in regard to population, say from Melbourne uh, to Ballarat. Uh, Ballarat is probably almost double the, uh, the, the I suppose, the, the issue of homelessness and, and less fortunate. People ask us, how is it that people end up homeless um, in Australia in 2010? You know, there, surely there's support there and there's Centrelink and you can get emergency accommodation, but this documentary is designed to show you that it's a lot deeper than that. It's not such a simple thing to do. People don't have the, the own tools and their own skills in their heads to be able to make the correct decisions on how to get out of this scenario, do they? Well, we have a huge issue and it's only slowly now starting to be recognised as a as huge problem is, is mental illness. And, uh, you know, it is on the rise. It is a massive, massive problem and there are so many people that are suffering from such a diverse range of issues that are uh, basically, I suppose, putting them uh, into a position that they're losing their self-confidence, uh, their self-esteem, their self-worth. In five years, Craig has worked tirelessly in the community to try and understand why homelessness is such a problem in today's world. And it all started when we met Paul, a gentleman in Ballarat who has lived a hard life. We all had no idea then what a change this would cause. And that means, um, yeah, I can, I can be the rest of my life, you know, in, in, in the same category as a lot of other people, they got nothing. And, um, but I, I, I don't talk to my friends about it, you know what I mean? I keep it to myself. And it's, um, it's sad, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, I, I, as a youngster, you know what I mean, I never planned I would have these problems in, 
and the age where I am now. Um, I think this man here, mm -hmm. uh, for um, stopping me one day, you know, and asking me who I am, because <laughs> if he hadn't no um, hundred percent sure you know who I am, and um, and then said, uh, he turned around and says, "I'm looking for you," and um, and that's my new friend. Craig spent the night with Paul on the city streets and the resulting footage helped change a city's perception in just one hit. We gave him some more blankets last night and I'm so glad that we did because he was so cold. It was um... So you did it, you're alive. Yeah, we did it and Paul's still asleep and um... Gonna leave and him. that's good. Yeah, just for a little while he um... Oh, he was so cold. He, um, I'm so glad we gave him more blankets because he was trying to snuggle into the back of me to stay warm. You alright? You did well, mate. You've done well. You're an amazing character. Tell him, tell him how it is, Craigo. People have to know this. People have to know the reality. It was shit, and I just don't even think that the ball is enough. The second year saw us break down the stereotypes of homelessness. We met the younger generation of people who had slipped out of the net. Craig, throughout the year, helped get these kids back on track with another shot at life. Couldn't be bothered, honestly. And then. Which we all go through. <laughs> yeah, well, true, but year 12, I came back over here and actually met Craig through, was going to get personal training, and I actually realised I didn't have the money for it. And a few months later, I found out he was going to be a part of the course. I've made a mistake with uh, with some mates, and uh, I was living with him, and he kicked me out through my wrongdoing and didn't really have anywhere to go, so. That's where really Craig came in and helped me. Just push it. Just got to keep going. And what would you like to say to Skepsy there, old fart? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me. You've oh, uh, got a lot to thank you for. I was, uh, I was just there and you had to do the hard work. I had the easy bit. Not with that help. <laughs> mm. Well, you know, you've just become somebody else's inspiration, so you should be extremely proud of yourself. Just a big thank you, and uh, I couldn't have done this without you, and just for this whole year, I'm, I don't know, it's been an honour to have you as a teacher, and uh, as a good mate. In the third year, we delved into the dark world of domestic violence and child abuse, and how this leads to homelessness. It was gut-wrenching, hard to watch, and had a massive impact. I'm scared that I'll do it to my kids. If I have children, I'm scared I'll pass on that trait of belting them, their mum in front of them and things like that because I know the person annoys me too much. I'm the sort of person that will punch. I don't talk, that sort of thing. It's violence before anything. So the only way to break the cycle is not to have the kids to start with. Um, yeah, no. Slept in his bed and, like, yeah. He touched me and stuff and um, made me have shower with him and like um, wash him and stuff. And then he came and got me. And then in the morning, the other girl came in and he was touching me and stuff. Year three saw a major achievement, the formation of the On Track Foundation, a charity created to make a difference, and a difference it is making. The soup bus came to life, feeding hungry mouths and providing warm blankets five nights out of seven, come rain or shine.